Hey, good morning or good afternoon, good evening, whenever you decide to watch this video. It's the morning for me and today is February 11th and I'm being very extra excited right now because I want to show you all something. So your girl finally hit the threshold. Let me see if y'all can see that. Let me, let me, let me uh, zoom in. If I can get this to act right. I hit a hundred. <laughs> you gotta celebrate the small wins, y'all. You gotta celebrate the small wins. I'm making a celebration breakfast. I'm making some biscuits and gravy, some eggs, gonna have me some orange juice. I might throw a little fruit on my plate. Who knows what I'm gonna do? But it's time to get up in here and get to cooking because I'm so excited. I can't scream y'all. I have people sleep still, but it's about to go down up in this kitchen. So you know what? Let's just go ahead on and do this. I'm so y'all understand. I'm so excited. One hundred. Let's go. Here are the ingredients we're going to need to make the biscuits and gravy. Now, don't judge me, all right, because I'm making it with the can, okay? We're going to do it with the can biscuits. These are, you know, the little store-bought brand buttermilk biscuits. Of course, please, by all means, if you know how to make them biscuits, get on in there and do it. I will do a video one day on that, but not today because we're trying to get some breakfast in for this, you know, celebration. So, yeah. Can biscuits, easy, it'd be done within what's what is it on this can? About 10, 13 minutes, okay? So we're gonna put it on here and get these inside of the oven and get that going. Okay, the other star of the dish is of course some good old sausage. Now you can also doll up, you know, if you wanna get some turkey meat or you know chicken meat or whatever and make your own sausage, you absolutely can do that as well. But today we are going for the easy. So we got some packaged Jimmy Dean. Um, pork sausage okay we're gonna be using that I'm gonna add in just a little bit of touch of sage on mine we um, also got the salt pepper some milk and some flour over here I'm gonna be making me some eggs so of course I have some eggs that's been sitting here for a little bit you know get into room temperature and we're gonna scramble up some eggs as well okay so this is what I'm gonna be using today to make my biscuits and gravy now I'm gonna go ahead and get this started with the biscuits. Now, they always say put it on an ungreased cooking sheet, but however, since most of my stuff is kind of messed up a little bit, as you can see, there are scratches in here. Again, remember I told y'all about that before, people using your stuff and scratching it up. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna rub a little bit of grease, a little bit of oil, sorry, on here, okay? So this is olive oil, just to get it on there and you know, um, yeah, so it don't stick too much, okay? Now, I gotta grab a spoon because I'm one of those people who <laughs> I will jump from this. I don't know why, it's just my thing. Yes, I'm that person. You probably like the trees, really? But yes, it's true. But if you get it open like this and you can't, it's not popping, you just take a spoon and press down on it like so, okay? Now, let's get these out. Now remember, these are store brands, so they're going to be a little thin. All right, now these have, I believe they have 10 of them in here, so they're li real little. All right, we're going to put those right, just, you can also form them up or whatever you, if you need to. When I came out of it, I pressed down a little hard. And just get those on there. So how many of that? That is 10. So these are little bitty biscuits, but it's going to work for today. I didn't plan on doing this, but I was like, bump that. This is a celebration. You got to celebrate all your small wins. Okay, do it like that. All right, so these are going to go in the oven. 400, 400 degrees for about, I'm going to check them out to 10 minutes and see how they're looking. And then from there, we'll go ahead and get started on cracking these eggs. to get that ready, and then we'll go ahead and scramble up this meat. So these are going in the oven, and I'll be right back. Right, let's get to cracking get it cracking <laughs> okay I'm not funny <laughs> so 
So we're gonna go ahead and dump these eggs into this bowl. We got the biscuits going. And I just want to get these kind of scrambled up real quick before I start on the sausage. Though that could have been brown enough, but it's okay. It's all right. Get those in there. So I want to know, what is your favorite breakfast? Or what kind of breakfast do you make when you're celebrating something? Let me know in the comments. What's your favorite type of breakfast? Or what's your breakfast or go-to celebra celebratory breakfast? If you have one. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. All right. We got those. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because I'm going to be also offering some food to other people inside the house. So I want to make sure I have enough. Okay. Now for me, I just eyeball my salt content. It was not a lot, trust me and my pepper content for this. Okay. And then me, I put just a tad bit of milk in mine. There go. And this is like all in the wrist, y'all. That's all. There we go. You can also use a whisk for this if you want to. Okay. And that's it for that. So now I'm about to go ahead on and get the sausage started. Done. All right. Set that to the side. It's time for the other main dish. Let's go to the stove. All right. Let's get that cracking. Got that on, then that heat it up, and I'm about to come over with the sausage. I got to open it up real quick. Okay. Now, if your area sells sausage crumbles already, like crumbled up, you're more than welcome to use that. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I used to think that this was such a hard process to do until I actually did it. Because I would look at people, I'm like, how do you make that? And then when I finally found out how to make this, y'all, it was a wrap. That was, it was, that was, it was over. All right, it was over, over, over. All right, so we got that in there. Let me rinse my hands off real quick. Put this in the trash. And that's going to start sizzling up here in just a moment. All right. All right, for those who've been with me for a while, you already know what this is. This is the infamous mix and chop that I got from the Pamper Chef. I keep saying I'm going to leave that in the comment section, I mean the description. This time I really will leave this in the description how you can obtain your own. All right. And I'm just going to let you know I am a Pamper Chef consultant. So yes, I will get a commission off if you buy this, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to let you know that All right now if you use the link that I provide for you in the description, okay? So this is going to brown up. Okay. I'm not going to have you sit here and watch me while this brown up. So once it gets, starts getting brown, we'll be back and you can see what it's looking like and then we'll go from there on what we're going to do, okay? Alright, they're out. The oven, 10 minutes. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of, I know some butter. I'm just going to brush them, brush them over a little bit. All right. Smell amazing. Oh, my goodness. It smells so good. Okay. If you had made homemade biscuits, of course, this would look a whole lot better. But again, we, we ain't doing all that today. I will one day though. Because biscuits, homemade biscuits, of course, are way better. But that's what we got so far, all right? So let's get back over here to this meat because it's almost done. Mm. All right, y'all. So this is almost done. And because it's almost done, I'm going to go ahead and put this a tad bit. And I say tad, like, 
tap it because you know sage is strong so about that much in there that's it okay oh yeah all right my you know y'all could tell you all the time like a little caramelized right but that's good right there okay some pieces got caramelized and that's good you don't want to all look like that all right so here's the trick you don't drain out any of the oil and you just go ahead and take your flour and you put it on in there okay get that mixed up in there put your flour in there okay Mm, 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 mm. And I'll give you measurements in the description, okay? And all good. Okay. And just so you know, that was a fourth of a cup. All right. Oops. I know it wouldn't be me if I didn't make a mess in here. All right, so now here, we're gonna go ahead in the milk. Now I do this a little at a time. Okay. So I can make sure I get everything mixed up. Mm -hmm. And it'll start to thicken up. Okay. Now it's all dependent on if you want yours to be more like thick or you want it to be more, you know, um, liquidy. Oh, I just got some on me. Oh Lord, messing up my outfit. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna thicken up. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, and in between here, you do want to test out the flavors. Okay, with some, you know, see if you gotta add any salt or pepper in there. Okay. amazing and you see it's starting to thick up right that's why I keep adding a little milk at it just a little at a time we want to make sure it doesn't over flood <laughs> okay now I'm gonna go in with a spoon and taste this see if I need any any salt pepper Mmm. Alright, pretty good. Blame when you need a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. Put that in there. Alright, I'm going to turn this down to low so it can simmer. Alright. I'm going to add in some salt. Do this to your taste, alright? Do this to your taste and some pepper. You could also add in some cayenne pepper if you know you want it spicy or some red pepper flakes. That's up to you. Or you can actually buy the hot sausage. That's what I thought about doing, but I had the regular, so I use what I had in the refrigerator. Okay. Let's get another spoon. You know, I'm buying some tasting spoon, y'all. That's what I'm gonna end up doing. Alright. Let's taste this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. So good. Alright. So, this is going to simmer. Oh, that's real good. I'm gonna let this simmer for a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and get started on those eggs and then we're gonna make us a plate Ooh, baby baby a little bit more a little bit more oh my lord i'm sorry if y'all hear my husband because <laughs> again i think he's playing madden again 
I know you're probably like, is that all, is that all your husband do? No, that's not all he does. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and get our eggs cooking while this simmers up. Oh, this is looking amazing. I'm trying to see if I should add in the rest of this milk, y'all. I think I'm good. Oh, we'll add in just a little bit more. Because I had two and a half cups in, uh, in this measuring cup here. And, um, and uh, some, you know, I use some for the egg, and then I've just been mixing it in as it's been getting thickened up. All right. So let me go ahead and let that sit, simmer, and let's do the eggs. All right, let's go with the eggs. Now, I'm using butter, okay? Now, I understand everybody uses something different for their eggs, okay? Technically speaking, with this kind of pan, I really don't even need any oil in anything like that because it's supposed to be for real, for real nonstick type. But I just, for some reason, I just also like to have the flavor of the butter in my eggs, okay? So, let me be. <laughs> and my, okay, yeah, but I'm about to turn the sausage, this gravy, all the way down, okay? So now it could just be nice and warm. Okay, butter in here, let's go. All right. Good to go. Eggs going in. Mix it up again a little bit. Okay. All right. That's in. Okay. Let that do its thing for a minute before I start messing with it. Get y'all a little light over there so we can see better. I think that's helping a little bit. And then I step right into it. Okay, well. All right. All right, it's cooking up. It's cooking up. You know, eggs don't take that long to cook, so it's doing this thing. I need to get my plate out. And rinse off my fruit. Get my orange juice. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all just don't know how happy I am about that 100 subscribers because I'm tell you, a lot of people would tell you in life that you're supposed to celebrate your small wins just as you celebrate your big wins, okay? And that's what I'm doing. So when somebody come and say it's just 100 subscribers, I'm like, okay, that's what's up. But they my 100 subscribers. I want to thank y'all so much for rocking with your girl. I appreciate it. So y'all know my next milestone, right? It's going to be 500. That's my next milestone. <laughs> Maybe I should do 250 first. 250. Let's go with that first. 250. And then from there, we're just going to keep on growing. All right. All right. So... And that's another thing. You know how they say you should, you know, you wish, like by this, by six months from now or a year from now, you wish you would have started. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I've been cooking all my life, so. Well, I can't say all my life, but since I was like a little girl. And if I would have started this channel when I first, when my kids first told me about it, they was like, Mom, we should start a channel. That was about, um, I think it was like three, two or three years ago. If I had to listen to them, man, do you know where I would be? today possibly I don't know but I think I'll be way further than what I am now but that's okay because you know what I'm here now and I don't care what people say oh the market is saturated oh YouTube is saturated oh but you know what's funny I say but they still growing see what I'm saying they still growing all right our eggs are looking good to go here's a little bit a little bit more I know some people like theirs runny. I like to cook mine hard. I need to put cheese in mine too, but I don't know if everybody likes cheese. Do you like cheese in your eggs? Yes. Hmm. Maybe I should. <laughs> Let me just throw just a tad bit of cheese in these eggs. Oh, 
probably could have asked that earlier, but it's okay, y'all. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. This is what I have on hand, y'all, okay? So we're gonna add that in there. And don't you worry, it'll melt. And it's gonna melt. Right on up in there. That was cheddar cheese I just put in here, so. In the milk. All right, so even when I turn this off, that cheese will still melt because the eggs are still hot. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off, and we're about to make a plate of food. Y'all ready? Ooh wee! All right. Let's make our plate of food. Booyah! Make our plate. So, get a biscuit. I'm gonna just go ahead and cut that in half. Okay. Like this. Yeah. I'm gonna actually get two. I probably should have got the bread knife. I don't know if I'm taking it. These little bitty biscuits. <laughs> okay. So there we go. Just open like this. Okay. So I'm just gonna do two for right now. And of course, like I said, if you had real biscuits, it would be different. Or if you had the bigger biscuits, it would be different. But we working with what we got. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that and Like so. Okay. That looks. Yes, I'm being big girl status right now. Move them breadcrumbs over there. Okay. Get the eggs. I'm not gonna get a lot of eggs. I know my daughter, she loves eggs. So that right there is good enough for me. Oh, they fell on top of the biscuit. That's okay. That's good enough for me right there. Uh, just a little bit more. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay. And then I had some grapes over here that I went ahead and washed off. You know. I'm going to do like this. I'm going to put some in here for them. In this little container. And then I'm going to make my plate look all nice and pretty. Just like so. And just like this. Give me a fork real quick. Give me a fork, like so. What y'all thinking so far? Look cute, 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 cute. Does my plate look cute, 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 cute? Oops, I dropped the grapes back here, y'all. That's okay. It's clean back there. <laughs> and a little cup with some orange juice. This is really my daughter's glass because we call her Tree. But her name is just like mine. So I was like, you know what? My name is Tree C. So we're going to use that for me. <laughs> Today. All right. So what y'all think? It looks good. I think it looks simply, simply, simply amazing. Uh, so it's time to eat. Amen. Mm -hmm. This is good, y'all. This is so good. So, mm -hmm. sorry for my noise making on my chair. I need new chairs. Mm. So, y'all see how easy this was to make? It was really easy. And all the time I was growing up, 
I thought it was some kind of magic to this. <laughs> but it's not. You don't need that much at all to make this at all. Mm -hmm. So, here's one thing I want to say. Thank you so much to you all for subscribing to my channel. I wouldn't have a success without you. I don't have any subscribers. If I don't have anybody watching me, then I don't have a video, right? I don't have nothing, no channel really. So, thank y'all for subscribing to my channel. Make sure you click that bell though so this can be notified every time I upload a new video. Definitely. Yes and duty. So now, I'm on to the next milestone, which is 250. And then after that, 500, and then 750, and so on and so on. So, you're here with me through this journey. I'm going to see a few changes. This is me getting my feet wet, trying to understand YouTube, understand, you know, how to build the audience, how to do all this filming. You know, y'all know I'm still in the process of learning how to do that. I meant to put on my new... Um, microphone, but I was so excited that I forgot about the microphone. So I'll do that in the next video. Put my little microphone on and see if that helps out with the noise. Because you know, my kitchen is kind of like I got an echo in it. So I hope that helps out. Mm. Okay. Now, I would love for you all to give me some suggestions on what you all would like to see me make inside this kitchen. That will really help me out so I can know what you would like to see. Not just what I want to make. But I am going to be going into my grandfather's boat. Or my great grandfather's boat. A little bit more. Coming up in March. Which by the way, March is a very good month. This is my birthday month. <laughs> so. That's what's coming up. And I just want to thank y'all so much. I really do. I appreciate every single person that watches my videos. I really do. And about to rev, about to rev it up, y'all. About to rev it up. Okay. So I'm gonna sit here and eat this whole this whole dish with y'all. But please do. If you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you click that bell so you can be notified every time I upload. Or we, my family, <laughs> upload a new video. Please share this out with your, with your family and your friends. Let them know what's going on over here in Sykes Kitchen. And of course, as always, always come back and let us know, okay? What y'all want to see? Okay? Give us a thumbs up. Like this video. Thumbs up. Okay? Mm. I'm about to sign off. <laughs> so I can eat my food. And enjoy the rest of the day. It's a great day. Oh. I want you guys to go cooking for dinner tonight. <laughs> yep. So. I'm going to sign off. So I can finish eating. And get my rest of my day started. You all have a fantastic day. This video will be uploaded tomorrow if I get it done today editing I can do it today but I told you what the date was already at the beginning so today is February 11th so I'm just letting y'all know when I hit my 100 I hit the 100 last night though while I was at uh, school you know I'm going for master's degree right master's degree so I was at school last night so February 10th is when I actually hit the 100 Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much again. I'll see you next time. See you in the pinch. Bye.